I don't even understand it, okay? I'm not sure how we go about it. But all of a sudden yesterday, on Tuesday, Aaron Rodgers makes his appearance. Now, Aaron Rodgers then talks about his cleanse. Now, I got to tell you, somebody asked me, have you ever had a cleanse? I've never gone anywhere to have a cleanse. Let me ask you guys on the uh, YouTube chat. Let me go to the YouTube chat here for a minute. Welcome, all you guys, on the YouTube chat. Anybody had a cleanse? Anybody ever sat down, hey, you know what? I'm going to go to Sonoma or Hot Springs or anybody ever had a cleanse? I'll tell you one cleanse that I had. Got sick as a dog. I think it was sixth grade. I mean sick. Got down, I was like 120 pounds skinny. Got down to like 90 pounds. And I had to have an enema. Is that a cleanse? Raise your hand if you had a colonoscopy. I had a colonoscopy. That's definitely a cleanse. I mean, yeah, that's a cleanse. Like, I'm not out there at a Buddhist temple, or, or I'm not out there at a, I don't even know where they went. I don't know where he went, I shouldn't say. I'm not out there in the middle of a field. I did watch Yellowstone. Remember the guy on Yellowstone went into the mountains? Now, he didn't get a cleanse, but he sat in there... I don't know what, I, I, I don't know what Rogers did. My cleanse was right here downstairs because the bathroom was close. I felt lighter, but good for Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers had to explain all this because his Instagram post was very cryptic about whether he's leaving the uh, Green Bay Packers. People forget this about Aaron Rodgers. We forget that Aaron Rodgers is actually a Northern California guy. He's not sausage and cheese Wisconsin. Now, he's been there long enough that maybe he is. But he's one of those guys that will go up into the mountains. He may go see the Buddhists. He may go. My brother did it. My brother went and saw the Buddhists uh, in California because he just had to get away from everything. And I think he did. I think he had a food kind of, a juice cleanse. Does that sound right? Now, he's that. Like me, I don't know. Give me a colonoscopy, and that considers me a cleanse. But good for Aaron Rodgers. See, when you got a lot of money and you're at that level of an athlete, you know what you got? You got a lot of, I don't, what, what's the right word? You got a lot of reasons to look into things to take care of your body. Like a cleanse to me in college was Taco Bell after a night out. La Bamba had burritos as big as your head. So I had a size eight. This is a size eight melon. Like, I don't know if I have a hat here, but if I had a baseball cap, I got to cut out the inside to make them fit. That's an eight. I used to put my head on, <laughs> on the damn counter and say, hey, 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 fill it up. That would give me a cleanse the next morning. I wish Taco Bell would bring back the Mexican pizza. I don't know about you guys. I was never a Chalupa late night. Give me the Mexican pizza. You know what I got? A cleanse. In my day, it was Schlitz or Stroh's, PBR, Old Milwaukee. Old Milwaukee Light was always our moving beer. That would give me a damn cleanse. But good for Aaron Rodgers. See, guys like Aaron Rodgers take care of their bodies in ways that we don't, but we should. I remember Dwight Freeney. Dwight Freeney before the Super Bowl in Miami. Um, there was a question about his ankle. And I knew his guy, and his guy told me on Radio Row, hey, uh, Dan, Freeney's playing. I go, really? He goes, yep, he got this hyperbolic chamber. So I said, Freeney's going to play. No, he's not. Yeah, 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 I just, hyperbolic chamber, he had it in his house. Can you imagine having a hyperbolic chamber at your house? What the hell would you do with it? I don't even know. 